What's up everyone? Tedrick85 here, and today I'm making a short video to talk about, frankly, something I didn't think I would even have to talk about, and that is the U.S. men's national team losing to Jamaica in the semifinals of the Gold Cup. And to say this is a shocking result would be a serious understatement, because I don't think anyone outside of Jamaica would have thought this would have been possible. And um, to tell, give you a little bit of history of what this loss is, this is the first time that the U.S. has been eliminated from the final since 2003. And it also, the loss snaps a 28-game home unbeaten streak that they've had going into this tournament. And, and speaking of Jamaica, how big this is for them, this is their first ever trip to the Gold Cup final in their history. And also the second Caribbean team to beat the U.S. at the United States of America since Haiti did it in 1969. And, uh, d just the thought of it, I mean, first of all, I do have to give my congratulations to Jamaica because they did exactly what they needed to do to beat the U.S. in this game. And to say that they were deserving is just, uh, I think it's fair because they certainly played the way that they were supposed to against a, a U.S. team that, but I, for some reason, they just did not look motivated. And you could just say, outside of the Cuba game, they pretty much looked like that the entire tournament. And just by looking at this team, it, 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 you get the feeling that they just were not well prepared for this tournament. And uh, I know there's a lot of uh, people out there blaming Jurgen Klinsmann for this, which I do have to admit, he does show some of the blame, but he does not show all the blame. And I, I for one, personally do not believe that he should be fired for this. And uh, having said that, he is definitely in the hot seat now, you know, he's... He's had some good results and friendlies in that, and he got a respectable result even though they lost against Belgium in the World Cup uh, tournament a year ago. But uh, if he doesn't get results in soon, then he will get sacked for this. And uh, it, it would be sad because I don't mind Jurgen Klinsmann as a coach. I, is he the best coach that we've had? Well, the, the jury's still out on that, but... Uh, but yeah, as much as we'd like to throw Jurgen Klinsmann under the bus for this, you have to say that their players are just as much of a blame for this too, with the exception of uh, maybe Clint Dempsey and uh, Michael Bradley and maybe DeAndre Yedlin and perhaps Brad Guzon, which I do have to admit Guzon did not look, look good in this game whatsoever, especially in those two set pieces. I think he could have done a little bit better with them. And a big culprit for the things way way the things went in this tournament is Aaron Johansson. He had that one chance in the game to put away the, a goal, but he failed miserably. And My question is, do you blame Jurgen Klinsmann for that, or do you blame the player for that? You know, A manager can only manage his team so much. He can't actually go out there and make the players perform. You can only say so much. You can only do so much. But it's up to the players to perform at the level that they're expected to, too. And Aaron Johansson is definitely one that fell under par, especially you can say that with uh, Josie out the door and uh, pretty much any of the defenders on this team, and uh, especially the defense. You know, Alvarado didn't look very good good at the at times. Timothy Chandler didn't really look solid, and then John Brooks, even though he had his moments where he looked decent, he he's still pretty much inexperienced yet. So. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, I think everybody is to blame for this loss, and this team seriously needs to look at itself and figure out what it needs to do in order to go forward, because this is a rather tough pill to swallow for them, especially since this tournament was held in the United States, and everybody expected them to win, well, except Mexico, they were the next big team besides the U.S. in that, but, uh, but yeah, there's definitely some question marks left, and the big question right now is, where does this team go from here? And, uh, of course, they're going to have a uh, Confederations Cup playoff where they need to win in order to clinch their spot in the next Confederation Cup. But uh, they seriously need some uh, soul-searching going on here because this, this loss was tough, and it certainly was a shock. 
And as a matter of fact, Jamaica is only the fourth nation to eliminate the U.S. in the Gold Cup, following Mexico, Costa Rica, and Colombia. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely some questions, uh, and there's definitely lots to ponder about if you're the uh, U.S. Soccer Federation and that. And uh, I know Sunu Galati, who's the head of that, is going to have some uh, questions to answer, and then he's going to have his work cut out for him. Uh, for the next major tournament that the U.S. Uh, will enter, and and, um, and as far as Jamaica and that, like I said earlier in the video, congratulations to them because they did exactly what they had to do to win this game, and uh, their reward to, for beating the U.S. is playing Mexico in the Gold Cup final, and I'm not even going to mince my words here. I don't think Mexico deserves to be in this Gold Cup final. And I know there's a lot of people saying, well, you know what, they've had, the penalty calls that they've had was 50-50. But so far, Mexico has won every single 50-50 call that they ha had against them. And you could even say that there was one or two 30-70 calls that they've had for them. So, there's definitely, they've definitely had luck on their side. And um, outside of Andres Guardado, there's not really any player that Mexico has that's really been capable of uh, being a Gold Cup champion. And... I know a lot of people are going to argue that they're missing four senior players due to injury, but that's no excuse, especially if you get a, t you get a team like Mexico that's a power in North America. You're going to have the, the depth to make up those injuries, especially the one to Javier Hernandez, who uh, fractured his co collarbone just prior to this tournament. And uh, But yeah, I definitely feel horrible for Panamanians out there. I think that the club got a bit snake bit out there. And I think Panama deserves to be in that final going against Jamaica, against Mexico, because, quite frankly, I don't think Mexico has performed at a level at all in this tournament to be worthy of clinching their spot in the Gold Cup tournament. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's how it goes, unfortunately. I know conspiracy theorists and that are going to say what they want, but whether people like it or not, Mexico will be playing against Jamaica in the Gold Cup final. And, I'm also going to be honest, I'm going to be the biggest Reggae Boys fan out there. I really hope Jamaica takes it, especially for putting up a good, solid performance against the U.S., even though the U.S. did play kind of sloppy out there. But like I said before, Jamaica capitalized on, on that, especially in those two set pieces uh, in uh, towards the end of that first half. And they're more than deserving not only to win that game, but I think they're more than des deserving to win this whole thing because... They've worked their tails off this entire tournament to get to where they are, and uh, I'm going to be looking forward to looking, um, watching this final, and hopefully they'll be able to pull off one more shock result and end up uh, beating Mexico in this. But uh, Mexico should be considered favorites, but like I said before, I don't think they're deserving of it, and I, and I think if it's a team to root for here, I would stick with Jamaica in that. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it I have to say on this video, so... If there's any comments or anything that you want to say in regards to this, please feel free to leave a comment or leave a video response to this. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say, and uh, that's it. So thank you guys for listening to this, and I will see you guys again next time.